Hello, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my kitchen. This is a baking tutorial on how to make a pecan pie. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Pecan pies, of course, are traditional for Thanksgiving. Um, I took a recommendation off of Facebook to get a pecan pie recipe without corn syrup in it, which was kind of hard to find. Most of them do. Um, but I did find one that doesn't, so we're going to make that today. I'm not making the pie shells. I just went and got some pre-made ones at the grocery store. I always take the easy way if there is one. Plus I think Marie Callender's makes pretty good crust. For this recipe you'll need one cup of light brown sugar, one quarter cup of white sugar, half a cup of butter, which is one stick, two eggs, one tablespoon of flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, one tablespoon of milk, and one cup of chopped pecans, which are ridiculously expensive right now. There's quite a bit of debate going on in the comments of this recipe as to what temperature you should set your oven to. My granny always used to say, burn the hell out of it. So I think the general consensus is that we should preheat the oven to 350. So we're going to start with that. First step says, in a large bowl, beat the eggs until foamy and stir in melted butter. Okay. Is that foamy enough? Next, stir in the brown sugar, white sugar, and the flour. Mix well. Is it well yet? By the way, this is the first time I've ever made a pie, so this could be a big mess. And lastly, we add the milk, vanilla, and the pecans. The directions just say to add a cup of chopped nuts. I think I'm going to add some to the top just so it looks like a pecan pie because this doesn't look like a pecan pie. Brian, I'm not dropping any of this. Freaking 10 bucks a pound. Might as well drop a T bone on the floor. Here we go. Now it looks a little more like a pie and less like a big bowl of cheeseburger soup. So directions say to bake it at 350 for 10 minutes and then decrease the heat to 300 and bake for another 40 minutes. We'll see. Well, the timer just went off. Let's see if I burn the hell out of it. Ooh. Well, that really doesn't look like a pecan pie, but still looks pretty good. Ooh. That looks awesome. Oh, that is pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Let's see if it tastes. I'm glad we didn't define it. Oops. All right. There you go. Mm. All righty, thank you. They look good. Looks good. I am the same. Yeah. 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 These things. I was gonna say the texture looks good. Yeah. 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 The inside looks caramelized, so that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. The Sweet. Better you like, Ryan. Very nice. Let's we'll see how it tastes. <laughs> There's the comparison. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's probably this one's mine. 
This one's the Costco pie. We're gonna have a taste test here. Do you want to try some more? Yeah. Hmm. Let's get working here. Cheers. <laughs> good job. What was the verdict? Really good. Really good. That's sweet. Brown sugary tasting. Almost like almost like caramely kind of. Yeah. I tried to cook the hell out of it, but I'm not as talented as Granny. <laughs> So the verdict is, it's very good, but not as sweet. And I think there's about half the calories. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> two thumbs. <laughs> yeah, like what Dad said, eat two pieces. <laughs> eat twice as so much. Well, thanks for watching. Have a happy Thanksgiving.